Hello, so in this video, we're going to continue on from our first video where we set the black and the white point, but we're going to talk more specifically about this, these adjustment layers. We just made some adjustments. They're black and white point. And if you're unfamiliar with layers, layers um, with great Photoshop is kind of like the key thing of why people use Photoshop is you can make so many layers with this new layer icon and so using the brush tool really quick and you can do things you can hide them and you can do all sorts of really fun things with them so what i'm going to do with these two layers that i worked on is i'm just going to shift click the top and the bottom and click this folder here which is just going to group them and i'm just going to rename because you can rename your layers black and white point so I can work on my adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are kind of ways you can adjust your image without permanently affecting. So if I specifically click on this, and I'm just going to real quick do a Command J to copy, because we're going to do some destructive edits. If I go to Image Adjustments, and I have all these adjustments, so I can do a hue and saturation to maybe ch adjust some parts in my image. Now this is not a good edit, but let's say I did this, saved and closed, and I didn't have this previous layer. I have baked it into the image. Nothing can do about it. I've permanently affected this photograph. And I can't do anything about it. And it's such a bummer, because what if I decide, you know what, I don't want her to look so pink. I'm going to shift and delete. Uh, we can do an adjustment layer. And these are just sort of layers on top that are non-destructive. So again, if you go to Window Adjustments, they'll pop in right here, and there's so many different adjustments that you can do to enhance your image. So the first one is Brightness and Contrast, and they come as sliders, which we're familiar with. Take it to the end, really adjust the brightness to the left, the, the other brightness. And Contrast, if you and again, like the contrast slider in both Adobe Raw and Lightroom, I don't like touching them too much. You can click Auto, and you can let it to the side. And again, look, it's not a good one. So I'm just going to take this and delete. Levels. Again, we have our histogram, our white point, our black point, and our midpoint. And you can make some adjustments here and so on and so forth. I'm going to use this eye to hide it. Curves, which we've used, which a lot of people like to kind of click right here and make an S curve, so it's kind of just to add some adjustment. You can see it adds, uh, I don't like that S curve actually. <laughs> so you can delete it. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. And you can actually, there's a lot of stuff with the S-curve. You can adjust specific channels with color, which you, we talked about in our color lecture a little bit. The exposure, this is, remember, this is sort of the average brightness. And if I'm adjusting exposure, I usually do a curves layer. There's vibrance, and the vibrance and saturation are just like they are in uh, Lightroom. So this is sort of brightening the muted layers and not, and saturation as well. Add that. We have hue and saturation, so the lightness and darkness of the overall image. Saturation. I'm just kind of zeroing out. And you can colors if you want it to look kind of trippy. There's presets, so these are sort of photographic base. And maybe you really like these or they help your specific image. Um, you may find that it helps your image or what your outcome is with default. You can also adjust specific colors. So let's say I want the yellows to actually be a little less saturated or really saturated. And again, 
take these two complete opposites and shift them back and forth. And I actually think taking it a little desaturated is quite nice. And you can kind of view a knot. But another th great thing about layers is you can change the opacity. So sometimes I do it uh, an adjustment layer and I'll just kind of shift the opacity a little, little bit. There's color balance. So this is a way you can color correct with midtones, shadows, and highlights. I prefer color correcting in uh, Adobe Raw or uh, Lightroom. But you can do that. There is black and white, so you can make your image in black and white. And you can take the reds to really adjust. Um, this is kind of a nice way to really kind of actively select things. And you really play around with all the other ones. Some of them, like Posturize, you're probably not going to use as often. Uh, but there's different types of adjustment layers you can do, and you can stack them and play around a lot. Next thing we're going to talk about is masking. So masking really comes from hiding certain parts of a layer. And you notice you have your sort of uh, Pepsi sign here is what I call it, which is really just your adjustment layer symbol. And you can even find that down here if you need another quick edit. You have a lock and you have these sort of white boxes. And these white boxes mean it's sort of a mask. So anything that's white shows, anything that's black would hide, anything that's in gray is in mid-between. So real quick, I'm going to click on my black and white layer, and I'm going to hit D on my keyboard, and D defaults between black and white. And using my B for brush tool, with my left and right brackets, not the curly brackets, but the square ones, you can increase and decrease your brush size. And if I hit X, then black is my main select. And I'm just going to click and drag. And anything that's black here will show through. So let's say if I want to do a selective coloring. Real quick. Uh, adjust my niece and my sister-in-law's hands. For everything else is black and white. This is kind of a quick and easy way to do it. I'm kind of doing a quick and dirty masking. But as you can see, I've kind of masked it a little bit. I could do a lot cleaner by zooming in and adjusting my brush size. And you can do a lot to your brush settings, but we're not getting too heavy in it. I want you to think about little edits that you can do. So I can do something like this for adjustments. And these are a great way to kind of make subtle adjustments that you'll learn to build upon. And I really want you guys just to play around what you can do with your adjustments. And you want to make sure if you're doing the masking tool, you're playing around with your image mask thumbnail and make sure you actually select it. So what I normally would use this for is sort of really subtle adjustments. So I might do a new curves layer and you know, I want to bring in some detail here, but overall here it's kind of overexposed. So using my curves, and I can always rename them for exactly what I want. But I want the detail to skirt because it was sort of really black and lost. And I might use black to kind of, most my niece's face is a little overexposed. And a lot of these are going to be super subtle. Bring some detail in. So it's kind of like using the adjustment brush in Lightroom. But I'm kind of, in a way, overexposing part of my image and then hiding parts of it to really get that extra detail. And I don't want her to be overexposed and it can really kind of detract. And you really just want this to be super subtle. You want your image to look as natural as possible. And I might darken this a little bit. And 
using your left and right brackets, or you can kind of go up here and play with your brush settings, you can really do some nice subtle adjustments. Now for the demo, you can go as crazy as you want. And I always kind of hide. Notice I did quite a bit. And you know what? I'm going to actually look back and forth. And it really takes looking back and forth, saving your image as a PSD, and looking at it again later. Um, sometimes looking at something in fresh eyes really helps. And again, I'm doing this real quick and dirty. I'm not being super exact. Notice that with it on, Again, black is concealing, white's revealing the adjustment layer. I have this nice detail here. Is it off? It kind of falls, so it kind of brightens part of it. Kind of going back and forth with the adjustment layers. To make sure everything's nice and smooth. Again, you want to do this a lot cleaner. But for the demo, let's say you want to do um, a hue and saturation and make your image, whatever image you choose, thing you've worked on, and say that you want to mask part of it to make an alien looking like pink baby. That's fine. This is really a fun opportunity to play with different parts of Photoshop because maybe you need to make a pink alien looking baby type thing. And I'm really just looking for that if you set your white and black point and you've played around with some hue and saturation, or not hue and saturation, but just adjustment layers and you've masked something and you have evidence that you've done both. So really play around and have fun and I look forward to what you've done to kind of either enhance or make your image super wacky. Good luck.